An Avondale couple looking to remodel their backyard thought they had just found a great contractor for a bargain of a price. That bargain turned into a nightmare. Here's Serena Side's Gary Harper. Well, this Avondale couple tells Serena Side that they felt a little leery about handing over almost $7,000 to someone they've never even met before. Now they say they should have gone with their gut feeling because that fake contractor who they paid all that money to, well, that guy tells Springer Side that he spent their money on his personal hardships. The pavers came all the way out here. There was supposed to be a small fire pit here. Sean and Samantha Goyle want to remodel their backyard, but the project, they say, seemed pretty pricey when they were getting bids. Yeah, two of the highest that we saw, one was at 19000 and the other one was at 21000 However, the couple says their search for a contractor ended when they came across this guy, Alejandro Montoya, who also goes by Alex Montoya. He runs a business called Little Isles Landscapes, and when he wrote up this low-ball estimate for $8,500, it really got the Goyles' attention. That's what made it look even more appealing to go with Alex was a great price. Back in early August, the Goyles say Alex Montoya, who is not licensed, which is required by law, asked for and received this check for more than $4,500 to start their job. After getting $4,500, I want to show you what Alex Montoya did next. He brought in some cinder blocks like this right here and started building what's supposed to be a retaining wall. Then, well, Alex Montoya asked for more money. Even though only a small part of the wall had been started using a small amount of material, the Goyles say they reluctantly handed over another $2,000 check. After that, they say Alex Montoya found every excuse in the book to not show up. One, he said it was too hot outside and he was tired. It was too hot. It was too hot. And he was tired. Yeah. The excuses kept on coming until this Avondale couple says Montoya disappeared altogether. We just cannot get through to him. We've tried everything. Three and your side got involved and we went to this Peoria home where Montoya lives with his dad. No one answered the door, but after leaving my business card, Alex Montoya called me and said he spent the Goyles' money on what he calls personal hardships. So they gave you almost $7,000 and you spent it on your own personal hardships? Yes. Well, why did you do that? Alex, you're not supposed to do I, that. Yeah, I, I understand and I didn't know what else to do. Um, I understand it was a mistake and I should not have done that. Alex Montoya went on to say that he intends on paying back the Goyles every dollar and claims he's trying to come up with the money now. As for the Goyles, well, they say the ordeal has changed them forever. Now we're just going to take even further steps to protect ourselves, checking if they're licensed, making sure we're the ones buying materials, and also making sure that we don't put large payments up front. Criminal complaints have now been filed with the Arizona Register of Contractors along with the Avondale Police Department. Montoya tells me that he intends on paying back these viewers every dime. In fact, he says he's going to pay back $300 a week every week until the entire amount that he took is paid back. He did make his first payment last week. It was $300, so I'll stay on top of this and let you know exactly if he does make all those payments. By the way, Three Your Side has discovered that there are more victims out there. I'll let you know exactly what happens in a follow-up report. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.